Hi, everybody. Welcome to Clinton Presbyterian Church. I know many of you, but some I do not. My name is Tracy Henry. I'm the pastor here at Clinton Presbyterian, and we are just so delighted to be in air conditioning and to be in air conditioning with all of you and to have an opportunity to welcome friends from Northern Ireland, Kieran young Wimberley and the McGraths for a Celtic Psalms concert tonight. So we're so glad you're here. Um, just a few words of acknowledgement. Ted and Matt have been setting up the sound and the light, which I'm going to be honest, when I preach on Sunday, it doesn't look as good as this. So I'm actually going to start a new capital campaign for purple lighting in the pulpit. That's kicking off this Sunday. But truly, gratitude to Ted and Matt. Immediately following this evening's concert, we'll have a brief gathering of fellowship time over in Fellowship Hall. Kathy Sayer has been hard at work. There's lots of Celtic-themed goodies, so we hope that you'll make your way over there and join us for that. After we have covered some of the costs for this evening's concert, the remainder of the proceeds will go towards the Halstead Street Park Revitalization Project. For those of you who live in Clinton, you may have heard of this work already. Others may not. But I did want you to hear from some of our neighbors who are part of the Booster Club for that revitalization project. So let me invite Andrea Eppolito and Lisa Interbartolo to share a few words with you. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for being here. And thank you to Tracy for, for all that she's done and, and supporting us in the Booster Club. Her boys even supported us with a cute little lemonade stand last week. So <laughs> every dollar counts. So my neighbor, my friend, my fellow mom, Andrea, um, is helping us with the Booster Club. We are, our goal is to create an inclusive park. And by inclusive, we don't mean just ADA compliant. That was something that came about 30 years ago and you could push wheelchairs and such. We're talking about fully inclusive to be able to play regardless of your mental, emotional, physical abilities. And we really believe um, as a booster club, right currently we're all moms and we just see the multi-disabled program at Clinton Public School doing beautiful things with our children and integrating kids from all backgrounds of all abilities into the general population of the school to play together. And we feel that our able-bodied children, <clears throat> excuse me, are able to learn from their friends who may have some limitations and that this is going to foster that kind of collaboration. So anything, um, you know, you want to learn about that, just Make sure you check out the Friends of the Town of Clinton Parks and Events. It's a very long name. I apologize. But we are leaving our Booster Club logo and information with Pastor Henry, and she'll have that up in Fellowship Hall. So if you have any questions, just email us um, or check out our website. We have all sorts of um, cool things up there about the events that we're having to promote this. This is a non taxpayer um, funded project. This is going to be all through community and grants and asks. So every little bit is going to help. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lisa and Andrea. If you're so inspired then to give more than you might have already offered at the door on your way in, you can also do that at the door on your way out or when you are over in Fellowship Hall. Kieran and I went through Princeton Seminary together a couple of years apart, and then we sort of switched lives in that I was born and raised in Northern Ireland, and Kieran spent most of her childhood and young adulthood in the States. 
But after she and her husband Alex had been in ministry here for some time, they moved to Northern Ireland while I continued to live here. I always think when you're at concerts, though, that it is best to let those who are performing and presenting to introduce themselves. So I'm going to invite Karen to come forward and to lead us as we welcome the McGrath family. We're so glad you're here. Please don't tell me my accent is so American. I already know it. And... I just know it. But again, we're delighted to have you in this place. Let me pray for us. Good and gracious God, what a wonderful creation you have made. What a beautiful corner of the garden we get to enjoy as we welcome these friends from yet another beautiful corner of your good garden. May you unite our hearts in faith and enjoy this night. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Hello, and we're so glad to see you this evening. We're going to start with a song that requires you to sing as well, so I hope you came with your singing voices as well as your listening voices. And this song is called Sing to the Lord. I will teach you your part that you can join in with. Sing to the Lord, to the Lord. And I think if you have your, your bulletin with you, there are going to be some words that you can follow uh, for the refrains. We would love to hear your voices because for a few years now, we haven't been able to do concerts 
where we have that uh, chance to sing in, in a congregation with other people. So it's, it's really, really no, nice to hear your voices as well as to see your faces. So thank you so much for having us this evening in this beautiful town, in this beautiful church. As Tracy said, I'm Kieran, and I have switched lives with her. So I am an American living in Northern Ireland, and I have been living there for about 12 years. I've spent 12 years in Northern Ireland at this point, and we have been singing together for nine years. This is the McGrath family. <laughs> Declan, the dad, <laughs> Kelly, the mom, <laughs> Ellen, and Chloe, the daughters. And they also have three others who are at home wishing they were here in uh, beautiful America, but they don't know how hot it is, so <laughs> they really don't, right? <laughs> it's brutally hot today, isn't it? We were, we were going around the countryside and wishing we were back in cool Northern Ireland. So we're going to do um, Psalm 1, which you may know, you may be familiar with the, the psalm about uh, the tree planted by streams of water. So as we cool ourselves in this space, we also think of how we receive nourishment and strength from those cool flowing streams. If we plant ourselves in, in, that, in that space where we can be nourished to live our lives as best we can. So here is their delight.
You may be wondering what makes Celtic psalms Celtic psalms. Well, it's the combination of psalms with Irish-Scottish melodies, Celtic melodies. And the following song is The Lord is My Shepherd based on the well-known psalm, The Lord is My Shepherd, Psalm 23. And it's set to a melody called The Parting Glass. And as we sing this song, it's, um, well, we begin slow, but we raise the tempo. And it kind of um, is to highlight the, the last part of the, of the psalm that is about goodness. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And Chloe will sing that for us. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He lets me rest in pastures green. He leadeth me by water. He restores my soul, restores my soul. Even though I walk through the darkest veil, I'll fear no evil, for you're with me. Your rod and staff protect. The next song is How Lovely, with a combination of Psalm 84 and a beautiful melody called Carrick Fergus. And the psalm is about a pilgrimage, and it's about encountering God on the journey of life, whether it's when you're traveling out to a beautiful place like Ireland or a beautiful place like Clinton, New Jersey. Um, we're on our own little pilgrimage as we're going on this tour and finding beautiful spots everywhere we go, um, but where, where do we encounter God in our lives and, um, and how sometimes the beauty of nature will strike us and we'll be aware of the Creator um, in those moments and just aware of God's presence with us. So um, Ellen is going to sing that for us now. <laughs>
And my flesh is weary For the courts of the living Lord Even the sparrow It finds a home And the swan calmed you down and it's uh, you know 
we need to we need to bring the energy back in the room. So we're going to do a faster paced one now called "Hear My Cry, O God." This is an urgent prayer of of um, crying out to God for help, and the words are from the end of earth. So wherever the end of earth could be for you, crying out from that place to um, have God save you. And um, this is also a really fun song to sing if you ever. If you catch on to it, and if you're ever having a bad day, just, just try singing the song. It will make you feel better. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. To the rock that is higher than I For you are my refuge, my strong town, my God forevermore Let me dwell within your tent now and forevermore Let me rest beneath your sheltering wings For you have heard my vows I will always sing my praise unto your name For you are my refuge, my strong town, my God forevermore I cry, O oh God, and listen to my prayer. From the end of earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you are my refuge, my strong town, my God forevermore. Let me dwell within your tent now and forevermore. Let me rest beneath your sheltering wings, for you have earned my love. Another song uh, about refuge, God is a refuge, Psalm 31, and I'll let Declan introduce this one. You can hear an Irish accent. <laughs> Hello. I've been told to slow down when I'm speaking. Can I get a signal if I'm speaking too fast? I don't know what it is. Tracy, you'll help me out. Um, yes, I am Declan, the dad. This is a song I'm going to do. That's too slow. This song I'm going to do um, is based upon a folk tune called Spansel Hill, which typically is an Irish immigrant song, because I think there's something like 20 million people of Irish descent over here, and there's only 8 million stuck at home. <laughs> I, I think that's the latest figures. But anyway, as some of you may or may not have been to Ireland, and if you do go and bring a raincoat is one thing. It rains a lot. The second thing, this song, you'll hear sung quite often um, in most places. Most Irish people will know it. It's, um, Last night as I lay dreaming the pleasant days gone by. It's a, uh, I can see the lady there knows it, do you? Do you want to get up and sing it for us? <laughs> but anyway, the tune is something is really easy if you're in a sing song. It's a go-to, it's a party piece if you want to ingratiate yourself with the local population. They're very generous, especially when you're having a few drinks, so you'll thank me someday. But anyway, um, this song, Sam, is, what Sam is 31, it? 31, I already said, yeah. You ready? So you All right, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> it's called Rock of Ref Refuge. I can't even get the words out. <laughs> B. 
Be a rock of refuge for me And a fortress when I'm afraid Incline your ear unto me And come quickly to my aid Take me from the net that binds me And deliver me from scorn I commit my spirit to your hands Please shelter me from harm Be merciful unto me, for my heart is in distress. My eyes are filled with tears, and my soul is weighted down. My body is spent with sorrow, and my ears from sighing old. My strength, it fails from misery. My bones they waste away. Rock of refuge, rock of refuge, rock of refuge. When I am afraid, but I trust in you forever, for you are my God. My times are in your hands. Let your faith shine on me now I'll praise you and rejoice in you Please listen to my plea Be a rock of refuge for me And a fortress when I'm afraid And blessed be the Lord For God's steadfast love for me God heard my supplication When I cried out for help My refuge and my fortress I will thank God with my song Be strong all those who wait for God May courage fill your heart Rock of refuge Rock of refuge Rock of refuge When I am afraid Be a rock of refuge for me And a fortress when I'm afraid That's a song from our newest album. We have four albums that we've recorded over the years since 2013, and we just came out with a new one that was recorded over the COVID period, and we're excited to be able to share those songs after having worked on them over that time. And this, this whole album was about the hope of what could, what could be, and you know, even a few years ago, when we started singing, working on these songs, it really wasn't clear that we were going to be able to sing together again. We just, you know, um, there were so many limitations and restrictions on us, um, so there's a lot of um, hope and joy that, that was in, that, in the making of that album. And on this fourth album also is a song called Sing a Joyful Song, which is sung by Kelly. It's actually the first time that Kelly sang her own song on, the album, on one of our albums, and it was the perfect one because it had a very meaningful melody to go with it. And I was wondering, Kelly, would you be willing to share with us about that story and just, you know, your, your, your life story about your, your dad and, you know, his okay, music okay. and all that. Yep. <laughs> so we, we went on our first tour in 2016 to here. Uh -huh. And it dawned on me when I was there that it was 40 years ago then that my father had also toured America singing the same, you know, singing music and playing music. So um, the song is based on an old air called the Old Cross of Ardbo. And that is, near, uh, Ardbo is a place near where we live back home. 
and there's an ancient Celtic cross uh, in a graveyard there, or a cemetery. And uh, so I'm going to sing this psalm set to that air. Sing a joyful song unto our God, all earth be glad and sing. Sing out of all God's gracious ways, of all the blessings shown. We will raise our voices. The next song is Psalm 30, You Have Turned My Sorrow to Dancing and Song, and it is set to an Irish melody called Green Grows the Laurel. And this song has recently taken on a new meaning for me because a friend of mine had told me that the psalm was really important to her during a, a, a time of cancer diagnosis and treatment, and that she was reading the psalm over and over, and then she found our song version of it and, and was able to sing it over and over to help her get through that time. And um, this song has been described to me as an earworm that people, you know, you, you get it stuck in your head and you can't get it out. So whether that's a compliment or not, but if it's a good earworm, it's okay. And if, if this song can help you through a difficult time at some point, then that's a good thing. It will get stuck in your head. And I'd love for you to sing with me on the refrain. So if you can get your sheets out. You have turned my sorrow to dancing and song. Are the words there? Yes, good, good. Are you ready? 
You have turned my sorrow to dancing and song. You've taken my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul may praise you, be silent no more. My Lord and my God, I'll give thanks evermore. Together. You have turned my sorrow to dancing and song. You've taken my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. My soul from the pit restored me to life. I'm contented and blessed. You have turned my sorrow to dancing and song. You've taken my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. So my soul may praise you. Be silent. to the refrain of the next song as well. Um, so you can catch on to that. And this, this is based on Psalm 69. The waters are coming up to my neck. And so as we hear this, we think of the times when we've experienced that feeling of overwhelm and anxiety. Maybe recently, maybe within the last few years, you might have had that feeling of just, I don't know if I can handle this. And, uh, and this is a, a song about hope in God at those times. So Declan, do you want to say any more about that? <laughs> or, or something else? No. Or your reading glasses? Yeah. I can't read my own writing, so I may have to rewrite the Bible here. 
hanging with me. Um, this song is based, the tune, or so, as we would say, the air, the melody, is based on a folk song called The Streets of Derry, Stroke Glutton Derry, to keep us playing. So, and we in joke there, sorry. <laughs> we have many idiosyncrasies where we come from, don't we? Anyway, it's got a lovely refrain, or as we call it, chorus. Tomato, tomato, you know. <laughs> so I love you if you sing along. It's, it's pretty hot. If I can learn it, you can learn it. It's called Save Me. Save me, O oh God, for the waters rising into the depths. I am sinking down Deliver me for The flood surround me Don't let the waters cover over me Save me, O oh God, for You are my hope That's it. Save me, O oh God, for you are my home I am worn out now From calling for you My eyes they fail from looking for my God I pray to you, Lord In your great love, Lord Please answer me with salvation's hope Save me, O oh God, for you are my home. Save me, O oh God, for you are my home. Out of your goodness, in your great mercy, turn on to me and do not hide your face. Answer me quickly For I am in trouble Come near and rescue me From what I feel from Psalm 55, which has the beautiful words about a wings of a dove, and maybe you've heard some other renditions of, of that. Um, it's a very poetic line in the Psalms about the wings of a dove. Um, Chloe, can you help me remember those words? 
It's easier to sing than say. Um, oh, that I had the wings, had the wings of a dove. I would fly far away to the home that I love. I would fly to the place where my heart is at rest, in the shelter far from the tempest and storm. Excellent. Yeah. It's a beautiful words. And, uh, and the psalm itself is about somebody who's been betrayed by a loved one, by a friend or a family member. The words that have cut like a knife, there's some hurt that's going on there. And then there's a desire to flee and to find that place of rest and refuge. But I also have been hearing this song with the refugee crisis and people seeking homes, seeking actual safe places to live, fleeing from their homes and seeking um, safety. So we keep all that in mind as we hear these words of Psalm 55. Listen to me and do. Sorry, I messed that up. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Listen to me and do not ignore me. My heart, it is troubled and I am distraught. The words that have hurt me, they cut like a knife. Oh, I'm filled with sorrow. There is no way out Oh, that I had the wings Had the wings of a dove I would fly far away To the home that I love I would fly to the place Where my heart is at rest In the shelter Far from the tempest and storm Evening and morning I call in distress Praying, God, won't you listen? Oh, Lord, hear my voice Enthroned from eternity You do not change from my battle Please rescue me, keep me from harm Oh, that I had the wings Had the wings of a dove I would fly far away to the home that I love. I would fly to the place where my heart is at rest, in the shelter far from the tempest and storm. your cares on the God who sustains you. You'll never be shaken, though the storm rages on. The wicked will fade, but you'll not be forsaken. You'll rest in shelter from the tempest and the storm. Oh, that I had the wings, had the wings of a dove. Far away to the home that I love I would fly to the place where my heart is at rest In the shelter far from the tempest and storm In the shelter far from the tempest and storm So the next song is based on Psalm 116, I Love the Lord. You may remember that one. Um, there's some beautiful renditions of that as well that um, we sometimes sing. And this is set to a beautiful melody called the Galway Shawl. And I, I would have Ellen sing a verse of that so you can hear what the original song sounds like. And then, so when I put these songs together, it's usually because there's some sort of a connection that's either that I get the melody in my head and I just can't get it out and then it matches with a psalm or um, I have a psalm that I'm trying to 
find a melody for and they just you know come together at some point but in this case I'd heard Ellen sing this song I think it was actually on our last tour and we were singing a few Irish songs and I heard this and I just love the melody so much so I'm gonna have Ellen sing the original so you can hear what that sounded like just at first. She wore no jewels No costly diamonds No paint nor powder No none at all But she wore a bonnet With the ribbon on it Don't you want to hear more? <laughs> well, you can hear more. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear more um, in the form of the psalm set to that melody. I love the Lord.
And I didn't tell you to sing, and I saw you singing. That was amazing. <laughs> and love and mercy, I think I did put the words on there for that, didn't I? The next one, yes. Okay, well, we will sing this for you, and please join in, um, especially on the last verse, because we all sing together. We have, we sort of build up, and then the last verse is nice full, and we'd love it if you would sing with us on that. Um, so love and mercy, and the, this is the second of our last two songs, <laughs> I mean the first of our last two songs, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> we have an, our, new, our new album, and um, it, you know, as I said before, sorry, <laughs> I'm like half getting emotional and half getting the giggles. So um, we love singing together. And our last album, this fourth album that I was mentioning, was really about hope and joy and being able to do music again together um, at a time when that just wasn't very possible in the summer of 2020 when we recorded and when I was putting these songs together. So I was focusing on Psalm 85, love and mercy, when love and mercy come together and justice and peace greet with a kiss, when goodness is shining from the sky and kindness springs from the ground. <laughs> it's much easier when you sing it, but it's a vision of what could be. And I also went, for, I went forward from there and I, I kept going. So for me then, what could be? God would bring healing. And didn't we need that at the time? And don't we still need that healing? And then the people will sing. So that was how I wanted to end the psalm. And I actually just kept writing. And then it was only like a month or two later, I actually realized that I had made up the last two lines to that, and they weren't actually in the psalm, but they fit, and they have a really deep meaning, and especially today when we're here singing, and we are singing, the people are singing again, so here's a song of hope for us tonight. For love and mercy shall evermore meet and justice and peace shall greet with a kiss from the ground shall spring kindness goodness will shine from the skies and God will bring healing and the people will sing
now on to the second of our last two songs. And this is our last song, May We Rise. And this is set to the last three psalms of the Bible, Psalm 148, 49, and 150. And it is combined with a, a, a song called Happy Are We All Together. This is a song that we heard um, at a, a session, just of you know, various songs being sung, and somebody led it. And I just thought it was so uplifting and catchy. And the final two lines of this um, version that we have here are, are keeping some of the words from the original song. So may God fill our lives with pleasures. May we rise and never fall. And what I take of the meaning of that is just holding on to the simple pleasures of life and that haven't we all in these last few years figured out what makes us happy, joyful, what keeps us going, what gives us hope, what builds resilience in our lives. So what are these simple pleasures and joys that we have that God has given us that we can give thanks for? So as our closing, we'll sing May We Rise. And again, please join us on the refrain that's in your, in your bulletin. And after this, I just want to remind people of what Tracy said in the beginning, that there's food and um, Irish goodies, Celtic goodies in the back that you can have in the fellowship hall at the back of the church. And also we will be there and um, we would love to meet you and say hello. And we'll be over by the table with our CDs and books and we'd love to meet you afterwards. So please come and say hello. So, and thank you so much for sharing this evening with us. Thank you for being here and for raising your voices in song with us tonight. So we close with May We Rise. Alleluia, praise our maker. Alleluia, one and all. May God fill our lives with pleasures.
I was just, I was just going to say to also um, remember to donate to the wonderful fundraising cause that we are um, remembering tonight. And if the song, with such joy, we think of the joy of children playing and a fully inclusive playground is such a great cause. So just to remember to put a donation in for that. Thank you. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you, McGrath. Let's give them a standing ovation tonight. <laughs> That was just the refreshment that all of our souls needed, not just on this hot week, but after a long season. Thank you for calling us together to sing and to sing unto our maker. Blessings to you as you continue on your journey. Do not leave through that door. You must come. There's a lot. There's a lot. Thank you, friends. Blessings to you as you go. Grace and peace.